What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna bring you a brand new EXP farming method in Diablo 4. And of course, from the new patch notes, the best and new, most productive way to do this is Nightmare Dungeons. So we're gonna get in, we're gonna talk about some of the Nightmare Dungeons that I ran yesterday and how much EXP that we gained and just to show you, kind of show you guys why this is just the new end game. So if you guys don't know, in the patch notes, they did release that Nightmare Dungeons not only are going to end up giving you more EXP, but they're going to give you more EXP from the monsters as well, and then you get more XP from completing them. So overall, it's just a huge win for Nightmare Dungeons. Okay, and on top of that, you're going to be leveling up your glyphs. Now, the guys over at Blizzard wanted Nightmare Dungeons to be your end game. We go over in the patch notes about how you can teleport directly to the dungeon and you can just farm these infinitely okay now there is some reset strategies that i'm going to tell you guys later but let's go over exactly how much exp i gained and why this is just the new best end game when is it like as soon as you get to world tier three this is what you want to do so when we're talking about nightmare dungeons okay before let's get into the before the update so before the update, doing Nightmare Dungeons was kind of sluggish. You didn't really gain a whole lot of XP, not only for completing it, but for killing monsters. However, if you did Nightmare Dungeons at least three levels or more higher than your current level, you get the maximum amount of XP. So it didn't matter if you did three levels higher or if you did 10 levels higher, that is gonna be the same amount of bonus EXP you could get. So now all of that has changed and now you're gonna be able to farm anything. So now the question is, what is the most efficient way to farm Nightmare Dungeons in Diablo 4 to not only gain the most amount of XP per hour, but to be efficient with our time and complete these as fast as possible? So there's a few different ways that we kind of discovered this. We were testing a lot yesterday, and we found that doing about no more than five, maybe five to eight levels higher than your current level is really the, you know, depending on your build, is the maximum amount of nightmare sigils you guys should do. So as you guys can see in the gameplay, I'm about level 80. So really I need to be doing nothing higher than a level 30 tier sigil. Because if you guys don't know, every sigils tier, you add 54 levels to it. So if I do a level 30 nightmare sigil, that's gonna be an 84 level nightmare, or excuse me, it's gonna be a level 30 nightmare dungeon, but the monsters will be level 84, which is roughly four to five levels higher than my current level. So that will maximize not only my EXP during the run, but how I can be efficient in my time of completing it in just a few minutes. You know, you're looking at probably on average three to four minutes roughly per dungeon, depending on your build. You really don't wanna go over anything over five minutes, but you can do that. So my recommendation is to do Five, no more than five, but if you can, depending on your build, if you can stretch it to eight, then do eight. So, for example, we're here in Blind Burrows farming this. This was roughly five levels higher. This was a level 35 uh, Nightmare Dungeon, I believe. So, it was about five levels higher than my current level. And we gained 1.6. Yeah, and we gained 1.6 million XP for just that one run that took us about three to four minutes. Okay, so now that's 19.6 million XP per hour, which is absolutely insane. Now, we're going to get into some reset methods here. So there's a lot of different dungeons, as you guys know, for our normal dungeons to farm EXP. Now, a lot of the bigger ones that they all got nerfed. So now I don't think as many dungeons are going to be nerfed because you're going to be able to just go around them. However, you can reset Nightmare Dungeons. Do keep in mind, this is the disclaimer, if you want to reset Nightmare Dungeons you are not going to be able to complete the dungeon. Ergo, you are not going to be able to upgrade your glyphs. But if you don't care about upgrading your glyphs and the sole purpose is just to gain XP because you're gaining so much more, then not upgrading your glyphs is just okay. To put it into perspective, it is 22 million XP, 22.5, I think, 22 and a half million XP to go from level 99 to 100. So in just one hour of farming a level 35 Nightmare Dungeon, that would give you enough XP to gain the final level to 100 in Diablo 4. Now down, you know, down below from like 80 to 81, that's only 11 million. 
So halfway through the hour, I've already gained a level plus some. You're gaining so much XP, it's insane. So to how do you reset your dungeon, Warlock? So resetting your dungeon is fairly simple. It's the same way that we did normal dungeons. You're going to get into a group, as you can see on the screen here. And once you complete the dungeon, you cannot fight the boss. Remember, do not fight the boss. And then you're going to leave the party. It's going to teleport you to the outside of the dungeon. And then you're going to regroup and go back in. And the Nightmare Dungeon should be reset. Okay? Now, if you're a solo player, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to do this. I do have a solo dungeon reset guide on the channel. However, it is applicable to Nightmare Dungeons. It's going to be a little bit extra work. But I definitely advise you to get in and do it. Otherwise, as a solo player, just pop your sigils. You can teleport to them directly, and it's not a big deal. And I would just farm that way. Now, the dungeons are going to be different, so your EXP will vary doing it that strategy. But if you just want to reset and do the same dungeon like Blind Burrows over and over and over again and just get XP without leveling glyphs, then that is the way to do it. However, I will say all of the time that I farmed yesterday doing Nightmare Dungeons that just picking the new sigils and just going depending on the affixes just going going and going you really don't lose out on a whole lot of xp uh between the two ones but if you want to be the most consistent and efficient with your time just resetting the same dungeon is going to be your best bet however i really like the variable of di playing different dungeons inside the world of sanctuary and just using different affixes and stuff like that to kind of really experience how much different dungeons are and gaining exp this way because some dungeons are going to be better because they're filled with more elites etc however the devs did put out and say that they are going to increase the amount of elite packs inside a nightmare dungeon but that is just awesome when they do do that which will be great however nightmare dungeons are the new best farming method guys we were been farming all night and blind burrows by far is still the best one that we farmed like i said we got 1.6 million exp uh just for one run so over the hour we gained 19.6 million xp per hour it's absolutely insane and if you go higher in your nightmare tiers or sigils excuse me you're going to get even more xp however i do want i want to keep this in mind that anything that's really over 10 tiers higher than your current level unless you're trying to push nightmare dungeons like the tiers to really challenge your build you're not gaining too much more xp per hour because it's going to take you longer to complete those dungeons so i still encourage you guys to just do about five to eight levels higher that's going to be the most efficient that you can do as far as your builds across the board and be able to maximize the amount of xp you gain per hour so that's what i would do get in there and craft do all those things so guys get out there find your favorite dungeon if you want to repeat and farm it get out there and just have fun with nightmare dungeons again this is the true end game that blizzard wanted us to have and i'm really really happy that they fixed a lot of the nightmare dungeon issues as well as just making this just an all-out experience me and my team we played all day yesterday and it was just an absolute blast we were able to just to have so much fun. It was almost like playing new a new game and just all the dungeons felt really fresh because we were bouncing all over the place testing dungeons. It was an absolute fun time. So guys, like the video if you guys have enjoyed it. Comment down below what do you guys think about the new Nightmare Dungeon system and all the changes that came with it. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.